Welcome to our module on flexible budgets. This module is related to our budgeting module and it's also related to our variance analysis module. Budgets always look forward, right? We're sort of planning for the future. We're planning ahead. Variance analysis looks backwards. Flexible budgets use budgeting to look backwards. And I'm going to give you an example. And again, this is like so many of my examples based on a true story. All the numbers are made up and some elements of the scenario are made up, but it's generally true enough for our purposes. So I've got a friend who is a greenskeeper at a golf course, a fancy golf course, and he was the head greenskeeper. And he told me one day, he's kind of proud, he has this budget, uh, you know, his his area has a like half a million dollars budget just to keep the golf greens green and you know looking good and that's he's in charge of a team and this was roughly the budget and the budget was based on being open uh uh 250 days now his golf course, you know, dealing with climate change, they, they don't shut down. They don't have like a set schedule. It's all about like what are, when it gets snowy or frosty in Canada, right? That's really what it's all about. If, if uh, the snow has melted in the spring, great. And if the snow, uh, you know, doesn't come till later, great. More golf days or less golf days are going to depend on when frost sets in on the golf course. And it turned out the season he was talking about, so this is the budget, 250 days the actual season they golfed 300 days it was just a warmer than usual season the only a couple months where it was under snow and ice and it was frozen uh, but they they actually were open 300 days and as a consequence uh you know they had different results from what they budgeted they spent two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars on wages they spent a hundred and ten thousand dollars on supplies that was uh three hundred and eighty five thousand dollars and their equipment depreciation was a hundred and forty eight thousand dollars um for whatever reason maybe they got rid of a piece of equipment or something like this so the overall cost actually let's make it 145 so it's an even number here uh, uh let's see five and five is ten three a zero five hundred and thirty thousand dollars so their overall cost were 530 and the the thing that happened to my friend was kind of a shame the boss came in and gave him a hard time they said look at these variances you were off 250 to 275. You blew the budget by 25,000. It's 25,000 unfavorable. You blew, blew your budget here by 10,000 unfavorable. The only place, well, this is 35 unfavorable. The only place you made your budget was the place you didn't have a lot of control over, depreciation. You were 5,000 favorable, but overall you are $30,000 to the bad. You did a bad job here, friend. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself? And I hope you're looking at this and saying, yeah, he did go over budget, but this is not justice. <laughs> and the reason is they were open so many more days. We would expect them to go over budget. And what we should do is not compare them to their static plan, their plan of 250 days. We should say, okay, let's pretend, let's go back in time. Let's give ourselves a time machine. If we could redo the budget, as a flexible budget, what would we say? If I could go back in time and tell my previous self, hey self, let's make a flexible budget as if we knew that we would be open 300 days. What would I budget for? And the truth is I wouldn't budget for 250 or 100 in wages or supplies. They're variable costs. They vary with the amount of days open and the amount of days worked. So I got to make a new budget based on this flexible data. And let's see what we do. So I ignore the actuals. I don't even look at the actuals. I just pretend I didn't know that. Uh, and I make a new budget based on 300 days. So my wages were $250,000 based on 250 days. Well, what would they be based on 300 days? They'd be $300,000, $1,000 a day. My wages would be $300,000. My supplies, $100,000 based on 250 days. What would that be? I got to open a calculator to figure out what that would be. I have no idea. If it was a hundred, not one nine nine. Oh my goodness, my 
calculator is getting away from me. A hundred thousand dollars based on 250 days. That's four hundred dollars a day. Well, four hundred dollars a day for three hundred days is one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Three hundred plus one twenty is four twenty. Now, again, before the year, I didn't know I sold this equipment, so I would have just budgeted depreciation to be 150. And if knowing what I know now, I would have given my friend a $670,000 budget line. So let's compare that flexible budget to the actual to get a flexible variance. 300 versus 275, $25,000 favorable right he had to he spent 275 given what we know we would have expected him to spend 300 110 versus 120 this is 10,000 favorable so we end up at 35,000 favorable now it's it's interesting this matches the unfavorable number it doesn't have to in fact it won't in any of the examples we do this chapter it's just a strange coincidence that this random example i came up with uh, uh came up with the same number but that's a weird thing um 150 for a flexible versus 145 for actual again we our depreciation cost was lower so this is still 5000 favorable so overall we would have expected maybe my math is bad here i said 670 we would have expected to spend 570 we spent 530 we are $40,000 to the good this is a favorable variance so my friend armed with the knowledge of flexible budgets, I think they have a leg to stand on. I think if the boss is giving him a hard time about blowing the budget, I think they can say, look, we are open 50 more days. It should have cost us 50 more thousand dollars in wages and $20,000 more in supplies. I actually did a good job controlling cost, and the flexible budget gives you that ammunition for that type of conversation, but it also just gives you ammunition to understand how a company performed. Again, budgeting is useful. It's a planning tool, but when we look back, we there may be value in, in flexing our budget, making a flexible budget. And that's what this module is all about. That's all for this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.